Since I uploaded my unboxing only yesterday, there's been a ton of demand to do at least a couple benchmarks, maybe some overclocking on the ASUS Ares. So here it is installed in a Core i7 test platform. I'm running, whoops, I'm tripping all over things. I'm running six gigs of RAM over there. I'm running a Core i7-980X, six core extreme edition processor and the ASUS Ares. So I've got my three graphics card, PCI Express power connectors plugged in. Two of these are eight pin. One of them is a six pin. So the other two pins are just hanging off the edge there. If you listen, you can hear that the fan is actually quite silent. Now, I would love to use the ASUS Smart Doctor software and they'll probably fix this later, but you can see right now, it comes up with an error that says, cannot find ASUS graphics card. Um, so I'm gonna be using Afterburner. So that one detects it properly. Graphics card, ASUS Ares, driver version, latest catalyst drivers. So just to give you some idea of how this card runs, sorry, my phone's going off there. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and, okay, so I'll let you listen to it at, uh, at default auto speed. So this is with the fan speed at 20%. And now I'm gonna turn the fan speed up to 100 just to get you, give you some idea how high this thing can go. Pretty impressive. I'll, I'll be surprised if you can actually even hear me very well. That's right up there with uh, GTX 480 levels of uh, noise production. There's a significant amount of airflow coming out of either side of this card. Uh, very, very, very significant. Anyway, let's turn that back to auto. There we go, it ramps right back down. So we're gonna run 3D Mark Vantage, see how loud it actually gets during the benchmark here, and uh, what kind of scores we get out of this particular card, and then uh, we're gonna overclock it and see how much we can improve it beyond that. During the benchmark run, this is about what it sounds like. Uh, the ambient temperatures in my office here are 26 degrees Celsius, and I'm taking that temp from right in front of the graphics card. So you can easily compare that sound level to the one that I had before with uh, with the card running at auto, at idle at the desktop, as well as the 100% load. It's not uh, not intrusively loud, although it is definitely, definitely audible, and this is at a non-overclocked setting. Okay, the benchmark's done. So at stock speeds with a 4 gigahertz uh, Core i7-980X CPU, Actually, it's 3.99 something high, not quite four gigahertz. Anyway, we get about 30,000 marks in 3D marks, so that's the performance preset. And let's have a look at what we're seeing in terms of GPU temperatures. So GPU one peaks at around 67 degrees, and my room is running at about, let's turn my temp probe back on, give it a minute. My room's running a little, oh, it's running a, Give it a sec. Running about the same, it's running at about 26 degrees. So we see it go as high as about 40, a 40 degree delta up as high as 68 or so here. Uh, GPU two runs uh, quite a bit cooler actually, about 10 degrees cooler on GPU two. Um, what I'm guessing is that this is GPU one and this is GPU two because you can see the airflow comes out completely unrestricted from this side of the card. But over here, you've got this PCI back Plate, uh, blocking it so you don't get as much uh, as much air being vented out that way. Now in terms of everything else you can see GPU usage is as high as 99% uh, on both and GPU fan speed. Oh that's interesting it doesn't seem to detect uh, fan speed correctly in afterburner here for some reason because I know it went up higher than that. Let me see if I can um, Oh yeah, no, fan speed's just not, um, I can't even adjust it now. I just did that a minute ago. Anyway, I'll be back with more overclocking benchmarks. Thank you for checking out my video blog and uh, I'll be updating you shortly. Actually, oh, here, I should explain this. The, the 1.5 gigahertz is just because of uh, speed step. It goes up to four gigahertz as soon as you do anything. Here, example. There you go.